Hey guys, welcome to another Fire Bitch video, and today I thought I'd go over how to min max the uh, path not taken. And also to make sure you guys are saving up your dumplings. So, instead of using your dumplings to actually fight the boss here for minimal rewards, because realistically you're using up 40 stamina per run. Or 200 uh, mana and and one each of these uh, essential materials. And a possible... And a possible basic green stone, which is such a crappy reward. And the soul ward is kind of like, eh, if you could actually reach it. The 200k threshold bar for the points. Uh, the reason why I'm telling you guys to save the dumplings is because right here. On the third rule of the dumplings, it says that if you don't use the dumplings, they'll actually get converted to a stamina elixirs at a 1 to 1 ratio. Means that you're going to get full stamina pots for them. And... And since we don't get any XP from here, you can actually use it to actually get rank XP and plus like farm the stuff that you really want. Okay, now going into the path not taken. So usually how I min max the path not taken is I actually go to a boss and look at uh, what challenges there are. So right here we got Doll's Damage Taken, Order Energy Recovery Rate, uh, Magic Defense, and Attack. So oh, what you want to do is actually go into the training mode and find what boss it is. And you can see right here there's a bunch of options so you just want to mirror what the boss had. So there's four uh, four modifiers on there. So I'm looking at 4,300 and you can see right here from the times and stuff like that. So what I want to do next is just run it purely as and see how my team does. Then I usually pick the timer which ones I could clear it with. So this is the main team I ran it with. I just do it all in full auto. You can see I killed the boss in 35 seconds. If I had her exclusive equipment, I could probably push it under the threshold for sure, easily. So next what I do is like, since I could kill the boss in 35 seconds, like I'm thinking in my mind, what can I lower from these things just to tweak it enough so that I can mark this thing for 1000 points for the under 30 seconds timer. So the damage taken is no brainer, so this one's like my team surviving perfectly fine, so I don't need to modify this. And the same thing here. So magic defense, since my team is full physical, you can just mark it all. So it's not going to change your damage whatsoever. Then we have the order energy and the damage. If I lower everyone's damage to only being by 40%, right? I should be able to clear it within that time though, but I noticed that or energy is a lot more important for dealing damage. So I'm going to leave this at 80 and just toggle this thing down by 1. 
Then I just rerun the team and see how I do. And there you go, 25 seconds, so I cleared it. And then you just go back here and just run the daily league with the time. Uh, for dailies, you should know that uh, we only get 5 tries per daily. And for the weekly, we get 10 tries. For uh, 0 stamina costs. And then every try afterwards of that will cost you 10 stamina. So you really want to min-max the points that you can. So you get the 35k for the frame if you're shooting for it. So if you already have the frame from the previous uh, path not taken, this is basically 500 souls. So this is really a really good reward for every... Uh, I think two odd weeks or three weeks, I believe. Is yes, you take uh, a path that's not taken, it's probably it's closed for one week, then it's open for two. So we run it for like every three weeks. So basically, in about I would like to say two weeks worth of time. Technically two months worth of time. You should have more than enough mass to actually just buy one of these weapons. And the only thing that you should be constantly buying every month is this soul essence. And because uh, this is what you need to actually upgrade your uh, UE equipment at a higher level. And we only get two of these per month. So unless you're not a whale to actually buy it from the shop. I should just buying it from here. And it's the same thing for summoning on these uh, weapons. So re realistically, the only people who are summoning for these weapons is pretty much whales. Uh, unless you really like the character and want to level them up some more. Um, the UE weapon isn't worth it for certain characters. Like... The only meta team right now that's currently using it right here is Slanya's weapon, and usually all the whales who are up there on the top of it have it. Other than that, it's like um, these weapons are comparable, so if you want to use up 100 soul, uh, 1,000 souls for the summons, you can though, but I suggest against it though, because you get it free from the shop. Yeah, so right here, so as I said before, so basically we're every about two months, I guess, or less than that, you should be able to pick up one weapon for free. So to fully max out one, you could probably wait for like two months and you'll probably get one for free while and just saving yourself some uh, souls. So the funny thing is like they left this equipment, uh, legendary equipment here, and in the CN version we actually get the set bonuses. I mean they're actually set bonuses are actually in the legendary thing so theirs is a lot more bloated but ours is a lot more, I guess slim I guess. But with that being said, uh, I think I would rather have them take this thing out and put in the set bonuses. And what I mean by that is actually these ones in here. So this pool right here is actually in the CN version for the uh, UE weapons. Is I wouldn't mind pulling like a quarter energy if I feel like the rolls because then it's like, oh, okay, so then I won't feel so bad about like failing, um, not getting the weapon, you know. But it is what it is.
uh, that's pretty much, you know, it's a short video. Um, the other thing is, like, I believe Yen should be announcing the Valentine's event pretty soon, and uh, hopefully it's a lot better than this event. And they already said in their last, I think, I think it was around Christmas is when they had their live event. So we know for sure the next chapter and Valentine's uh, event is scheduled. Then after that, it's pretty up in the air is when it is going to be. So I'm assuming if they're going by their little roadmap they released, it might be uh, Valentine's, then the next chapter for uh, Revive Witch. And a little interesting right here. Here is that our Dreamland summer right here. You can see it's from the 25th to the 1st. Which isn't the case for us. Because it's right here, it's from the 1st to the 11th. So the banner that they're sharing right here is the CN banner time. It's just kind of funny though that they left it in there like it as as is. A little bit of oopsie though, but you know it's not that big of an issue. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.